Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I guess this is my five, almost six week update. Um, I do my seventh shot tomorrow, so, and it's been like less than 12 hours, but yeah. So, um, as far as changes go, you know, more of the usual suspects, a little bit more uh, body hair, a little bit more muscle tone, uh, my voice is still dropping. Um, not noticing too much difference in like facial hair or anything like that, so just waiting on that one. Um, what else is going on with the tea? Um, some of the changes you don't hear a lot of people talking about. Uh, I've been having headaches, and I've been talking to like the nursing and doctor staff up at work, and they've been telling me that it's possible it's from the tea. And I've you know looked at stuff online. And other guys are saying that they get headaches from it too, so I'm hoping that passes soon because it's getting really old. And like, I'm still having, you know, I posted a video a couple weeks ago already saying that I thought I was going to bleed because I've been having like, not quite cramps, but pains in my abdominal, abdominal area. And it, you know, just, that sounded weird, but yeah, in my like lower stomach area and they still haven't gone away and uh... another thing when i uh, was talking to the nursing staff about you know how i've been having headaches they uh... one of the nurses was like well come in let me see let me check your blood pressure real quick and he's checked it a couple days in a row now and it's consistently really high um, so i've got to do something about that i'm probably going to have to cut out the caffeine which is going to be awful because I'm drinking like two liters of, of uh, pop a day, usually Pepsi. Um, I guess that's... Oh, that, that's about all of, you know, as far as tea related changes and whatnot. Um, but as far as work goes, I got a new unit director and uh, she had a, we had a mandatory staff meeting today so she could blabber on for an hour about nothing. Welcome to the joys of working for the state. But anyway, she was going on and on and on, and some things occurred that lead me to believe that I may have some problems with her. Because she was like, you know, there's a lot of good things going on here on, you know, my on, on this unit. Uh, a lot of things I'd like to see continue, a lot of things I really like. And then, I mean, quite literally, does the head roll and says, and there's some things that I don't like and looks directly at me. And there were only, like... 30 people in this meeting, so it, and I was sitting on the far end, it was pretty, pretty obvious who she was looking at, so I'm hoping I don't run into a whole lot of problems with that, but I guess if I do, I'll have to deal with them as they come up. Um, and there's just been a whole lot of management shifting at work. One of the managers that I had pretty much wrapped around my finger is no longer a manager on my home, which is cool because she was a pain anyway, but I had her able to do whatever I wanted to do. If I wanted a day off, it was mine. That was pretty cool. But I think our new uh, BC is going to be pretty cool too, so that's not too big of a deal. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, so I want to go see that uh, Twilight movie that came out because I like really dig on vampire. <coughs> I really dig on vampires and stuff. And so I figured I should probably read the book before I go get it. So I bought the book yesterday. And I took it to work with me today, and throughout the course of the day, I've managed to read like 400 pages of this thing. It's really good. It sucks you in really quick. It's a really easy read. Oh, so good. Vampire's so hot. Mm. But anyway, uh, what else is going on? Okay, so my girl and I have been together for a couple months now, right? And like, we went, our initial dates were like going to the lake and, you know, getting together at parties and stuff. I've it occurred to me that in the several months we've been dating, I've never actually taken her out on a date, and she kind of offhandedly hinted that I should do that. So that's my plan for this weekend. Um, and I'm really kind of nervous, because I haven't been on, like, an actual date date in a long time. And even when I, the last time I did go on, you know, dates, we'd go to dinner and then to the bar or something, you know, go hang out with friends. But my girl's not 21. She'll be 21 in like two and a piece months, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so I'm trying to come up with something creative. 
uh, not working so well. But I'll figure something out. Um, I have a couple ideas, but I'm not going to put it on here because she may check this before we go out tomorrow night. Um, what else is going on? Oh, Lord. Okay, so the holidays are coming up, right? And uh, my biggest concern at the moment is Thanksgiving because I've told my mom and my dad and my sister what's going on with me, but I haven't told the extended family. And I was, you know, I started taking tea thinking it'll be, you know, two and a half months before Christmas comes and almost two months before Thanksgiving, so I should be fine. I didn't expect any of the changes to come this quick. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I'm really, really nervous about that because, like, you know, for the most part, my family operates on the just don't talk about it theory, which works to my benefit a lot of the time. We we still haven't even discussed that I like girls and I brought a girl home with me to Thanksgiving last year. That's the level of we don't talk about it. However, you know how every family member or every family has that one family member, usually married in, that just likes to start shit. Yeah, she's gonna be there. So I'm hoping that she keeps her mouth shut and doesn't bring anything up because, I mean, I just, family holidays aren't the time for this. I, everybody's coming together to have a good time and I, I don't want to detract any attention from grandma and grandpa and everybody. I, I don't, yeah, no, it's just going to be ma bad news. So I'm going to go, I mean, my mom invited me, which is good. She, you know, she asked if I was coming and I had, I happened to have the day off, so that worked out really well. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and see how well I'm received, and if it gets ugly, I'm just going to leave. Um, yeah, I guess, I know my youngest uncle will probably have something to say about it, but I think in the end he'll be cool with it. He'll be like, you're doing what? Oh, well, whatever, okay. He's kind of like a brother slash cousin because he's only eight or nine years older than me. Um, my other uncle is going to keep his mouth shut. He may give me some looks. And his wife is the problem child. Um, and the only other family that I'm really worried about is my grandma and my grandpa because they mean a lot to me. And the thought of them not accepting me. I don't know. That That's going to be rough. But I'm going to pray for the best. You know, prepare for the worst, hope for the best, see what's going on. Uh, I don't know if my camera's wiggling around or not. My dog is like chewing on her bone up against my tripod, so sorry if it's wiggling around. Um, happy note, happy note. I don't like ending things on a bad note. Um, hopefully, well, no, I can't say that, that, that might ruin part of the date, um, okay, if you know, oh, I get my seventh shot tomorrow, that's kind of cool, um, this will be my fourth shot that I've given myself, hopefully, um, I'm gonna try and do it in my left side, because I've been doing it a lot in my right side, so, I need to change that up. But, uh, yeah, I think that's about all I've got for now, so I'll catch you guys later.